G'day, g'day! <laughs> How the heck are ya? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan O. And what do we got today? Let's just jump right into it, huh? All right, yeah, we got some gems here. We have the Corgi Showcase Collection. Authentic replication. Replicas, there you go. This is the Fire Heroes um, commemorating our bravest. And uh, let's see, we, uh, now as far as I know, um, <laughs> and uh, there's like uh, 12 vehicles all together in this uh, Fire Heroes uh, series. Um, couple, a couple of helicopters. Yeah, just, uh, uh, not only, uh, they got a couple of, uh, American, uh, vehicles in there. I'm just showing you, this is the bottom of the box. Uh, 2002, so 2002, 2003, uh, release date. There's, uh, they are, uh, West Erie, Suite 205, Chicago. I wonder if they're still there. It's, uh. Like four, four and a half hours away from me. But, uh, yeah. Very, very awesome. Let's take a look at the side here. Very nice. A lot of ladder trucks and things. Oh, yeah, here's a little peek. Mac B open pumper. Uh, Seagrave, 70th anniversary pumpers. San Francisco. Uh, here's the fire pumper, Chicago Fire Department, 1966, 51. Holy, these are just some old dogs here. Yeah, <laughs> 1960. There's the uh, La France, American La France. So that's uh, some inner. Oh, here, let's take a look. And uh, if we can get that in focus, then you can freeze that and read that at your leisure. But very, very cool. Uh, and of course, they had um, one Land Rover, City of Bath, uh, in there, and uh, very kind of cool, really, really uh, nice uh, Corgi. As you see, I have uh, a couple of them. These don't call for uh, too much money, just uh, a, f a fair price. Uh, mint in the package, obviously, is a little bit better. Uh, 150th scale, I believe. Um, now there's usually just one livery, as you saw there, there's usually one livery. There is a couple of them that, uh, are, uh, red with white, but mostly they're, they're red. And there is a couple of yellow ones, like, uh, Forest Reserve and, uh, stuff like that, you know, um, so that's, you know, kind of cool, kind of cool, real kind of cool. So, hey, uh, check it out. So, <laughs> yeah, wouldn't you know it, I do have uh, more. Yes. Uh, so this is the card that comes inside there, as you see on the uh, on the side there. And uh, hopefully we can uh, focus in on that. And you can take a moment to freeze frame that. And, uh, yeah, 200 gallons per minute. Woo! That's a lot of pumping. So a nice little collector card, I guess, that uh, comes out of that. So I put that with my uh, car, I, and I've got one loose. Uh, I did uh, buy, I'm, I think the last couple ones I bought off eBay, but I did find a couple of them in the wild at the store. So here we are. This is uh, what it is. Um, let's take a look at the base here right away. Uh, Corgi up on top, short wheelbase Land Rover. That is a metal base, black gloss there, two rivet construction. The wheels are um, plastic, I believe. I believe they're one piece. I'm not really sure to tell you the truth if they're two piece or not, but I believe they're one piece plastic, hard hard plastic. So, uh, yeah, very nice. There it is, the uh, Series 1. Some detailing up front. And uh, very kind of cool. Can't see the 
can't see the grill there for the <laughs> the big hose. It's got a big pumper hose on the front. Uh, wheel on the bonnet, as you may see. Then on the side here, it says uh, City of Bath Fire Brigade. Got the silver quarter panel. Now this is all metal up here, the bodywork. The uh, rear tail here has got all the, uh, no, no detailing back here, but you see all the gauges and switches and the pump nozzles and the Land Rover badge handle on the rear bumper. Look at that, just awesome. That's all metal back here. This part here is plastic here with the reel, uh, hose reel there, and then the uh, weird, weird colored uh, red plastic there. It's not really, it's almost like a transparency red, but uh, not quite. The uh, windows are uh, dark tint. You can barely, barely almost see through them, but uh, I don't believe there's an interior to it. Oh, I didn't even notice that right there on the front uh, bumper there is the hole so you can stick the old uh, hand crank in there. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, so I got a pretty uh, awesome model here. Now, I do want to show you something else. <laughs> yeah, guess what? Yeah, you're right. Oh, I'm gonna shake the, shake it up here a little bit. Yeah, one of my latest uh, acquirements was off of eBay, and I got this one here. And uh, he's missing uh, the hose up front, a uh, uh, little tattered on the front bumper and stuff like that. Pretty good nick, but I don't know if you can buy um, repair parts. This is kind of where all the damage is back here. Uh, quite a few chips and things like that on the back there, if you can see. Uh, very dusty. I did kind of clean this out just a little bit. Uh, still has a spare tire on top, but it is missing. It's, um, it's uh, looks like it's screwed to the base there. I think they actually, yes, they uh, drill and tap that hole. That's a tapped hole, so they can put it in the base there. Uh, so anyway, I don't think you can buy replacement parts for these yet. I'm not sure. So guess what we're going to do? <laughs> yeah, it's part of that show, folks, where it's time to shield your eyes. We're going to take this bugger apart. Yeah, I just so happen to have my uh, trusty, trusty old Milwaukee drill here. Metal on metal, so this should be pretty uh, easy, straightforward. I have never taken one of these apart, so uh, this is going to be a uh, first for me and you right here on Roverland. Um, maybe someday, uh, later on down the road, we can uh, make this a different livery, you know. But right now, today, we're just going to take this bugger apart. Maybe. Yeah. Should, uh, should be popping apart right now get the screwdriver here I want to get a good screwdriver in here yeah there she goes yeah very very nice all right I want to get these shavings out of here so we don't uh, mess that up all right I hope uh, you folks uh, still with me here <laughs> all right let's take this bugger apart here is the base flip it over very very nice oh so the uh, axle is uh, Crimped and finished in through there. There's, uh, yeah, you'd have to take those wheels apart to uh, get them off of there. They're uh, part of the chassis. All right. And, oh, yes. So, uh, no interior there at all. Um, yeah, most of this stuff, the uh, glass, I don't know if you can see that. Hold on, let me get a flashlight here. All right, I got a flashlight, so maybe we can shine some light in there. Yeah, see now, um, the uh, uh, tint window is uh, riveted in there, so uh, pretty neat. Otherwise, the plastic parts are um, hot melted on there. Yeah, so pretty interesting. It looks like the uh, roll of hoses 
is attached to the plastic part there and that so yeah and also the uh, the uh, front which should be the front wheel there uh, that is uh, got hot melted and then uh, what is oh those uh, those headlights if you can see yeah uh, come on focus well we got to get it to to focus here <laughs> and then we got to get some light on it but as you see on the front there uh, those headlights are a separate plastic piece I thought they were just painted in there but those are a separate plastic piece pretty cool so two three four five six counting the glass six six pla plastic parts on a what is a really heavy duty metal body really a nice construction there um, very very nice yeah very very nice all right well there you go folks you got to take a little peek of inside the um corgi heroes city of bath land rover very very nice yeah all right i'm out of here that's a cool look of uh the corgi showcase collection fire heroes Make sure you come on over to Facebook, Roverland, ask to join. Membership is free, as well as, uh, hey, it's free to give me a thumbs up and uh, hit that subscribe button so you can keep up to date on what's going on and hit that notification bell as well. All right, and oh yes, Instagram, Roverland channel. <laughs> All right, I'm out of here. Thank you very much. This is your friend Dan, and remember, slow traffic, keep right. And have a great Rover Day!